Hello friends, it's Julie Norman and today we're going to do a little unbagging instead of unboxing and this is something that I got at a local antique store in Billings, Montana. Um, if you hear any, that's my dog. My dog has decided I'm talking to him. So anyway, I, here's my receipt and um, it cost me $25. I went in there to look for postcards but when I went in there, they had these baskets and boxes of photos for half price. And I think you'll agree that there are some good ones in here. So let's get this open. Okay, so let's start with a postcard. And she just said, do a dollar or five. I got these all for five dollars. So this one I liked because it says to the one I love best. And this is, it looks like he's wrinkling, the Cupid is wrinkling their nose up. So I thought that was funny. It does have a signature, a copyright um, Conwell. And I know by the time you see this Valentine's, it's probably almost, it's getting, you know, really close. So, but it doesn't matter. This is uh, Tonka Bay, Lake Minnetonka. That is near where I grew up. So, yeah, my old haunting grounds, the O'Hammon. Um, we've got Home for Crippled Children in North Dakota. People like those kind of things. Steamer. I don't know why some of these I picked up. Detroit, Min Minnesota, maybe because of Minnesota. Uh, Gillington, Columbia River, just, you know, who knows why I picked these up. Oh, greetings. Greetings are always good. And this is Big Stone City. This is where a place where my dad lived for a little while. Here's a, an Idaho Lake. Um, yeah, another uh, branding cat cattle on the range. This is a Charles E. Morris, the ones that I have been really going well for me. Then we've got another Valentine. Just thought it was pretty. Another Valentine. Look at that face. I liked that one. And there, there is something on here. Some kind of copyright information on it. So I liked that one. Oh, this one might be for me because it's got the weaving and they've got a great wheel. I like to pick these up. Um, here is a buffalo bison, whatever you call it. A largest living buffalo bull. And that was in an undivided back. Here is a Yellowstone Historic Center that will be, I mean, Yellowstone is kind of popular. Here's a Greetings from Whitehall. It's obviously added the, the uh, mica glitter here. and But Whitehall, I don't see that all much. Here's another one with a little message you could put in here. There is, uh, it says, so it's got a little fold-out note. Received a card today. <laughs> all the kinds of things that you would say. Um, oh, they talked about earthquake shocks. The people of Virginia think the shocks are caused from some big geyser in park. So, yeah, that's interesting. That's talking about an earthquake. So that's Twin Bridges, another town I don't see a lot of carts from. Here is another Montana car, a Missoula Depot. And lastly, we've got another Yellowst a view of Yellowstone River. So, let's see here. How many did I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 for $5. So, it's about... 33 cents a piece. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Now let's look at the photos. Though there is a, a basket of a lot of these little loose photos and they had also albums of photo or photo albums that were empty. So obviously they had taken them, some of them were taken out. This one is like a truck. So, you know, work truck. I thought that was good. So these, this is 10 cents and it also tell, tells you this Moorhead. So this actually cost me 5 cents. This is why I liked and I got a bunch. Um, here is a photo booth photo, which I've heard are popular. I haven't ha sold them yet. This looked, this reminded me of a USO photo. There, it looks like there might be some, like when they did the entertaining of the troops. I could be totally wrong, but um, you know, I'll have to zoom in that photo. There's a building back there. Who knows? I mean, it might, might totally be something different. Someone in uniform. Another photo booth photo of a little baby. And it does tell who it is. Some... Miss Missoula. Oh, I didn't notice that. It was Missoula Lodge. So that's cool. I'm probably um, one of those groups here. It looks like a sailor and maybe um, a lady in uniform. And there was a few of this cabin. So I picked them up because it's five cents each. And here's a couple more photo booth. It was five cents. I think this is a photo booth. Guy with a banjo. There was these ladies, I have no idea, I just liked them, and the KBU, and so there was a couple of them, um, they must have had fun here, but look at, it's just like the, t that look of that 40s or something, they're 25 cents, so it was half of that, 
Um, here is a child who is sick in bed. He's reading the comics with the dog. So, you know, 25 cents. Um, grandma with a dog. Why did I like the Oh, Opal and Friend. You know, yeah, I don't know sometimes why I pick these, but I just kind of go on what I like. And I had to kind of go quickly because there are so many that I just, you know, wanted to sort through them quickly. So here is a couple of people on the farm, and it does identify them. Printed in the Faux Doc Kitchen, Yale, Oklahoma. So you also have where it was done. I um, like these old cars with license plates. One of the letters I think is missing, but it does say have a date and the name. Here is a, a ranch truck uh, with a guy in uniform work truck. This one has, it looks like it might be at a depot. So Blossburg, I don't know. Does anyone know where that is? So I haven't done any research on these yet. Here is a pretty lady. She's very, wearing very short shorts, kind of casual. And it does tell you some kind of drug company did that one. Um, here's a bunch of antlers. Um, people, you know, it's kind of interesting. There's a lot of antlers in that picture. And She's a mammoth. Oh, I wonder if there was um, an antler. Dis that must have been an antler display. So I believe this is another photo booth. Both. Booth, whatever. Here is a little boy eating on the, out of a tin plate or pan, pie plan, cake pan, and is wearing some work clothes. And Larry licking the fudge pan. Here is a ship. Looks like a battleship. Don't know what that is. A guy shooting a gun. And houses, so postcards of houses have sold well for me, so I thought, why not? And it looks like there's a, a guy in uniform. It does give where it is, Gate City Drug, Glendive, Montana. Here is, I think that it might be the same log cabin or a different one, but a lady out there. And a sailboat, Virginia, Minnesota. Oh, this is kind of a cool one. It's a, a long photo. So I don't know t a ton about old photos. Just I just know enough to be dangerous. And Mrs. Victor Strombeck. I don't know what all these are called in the air. It's, a, it's another rabbit trail. Another view of the Butte Dam Basin. So that is in Montana. I picked up this little tiny one. Why did I pick this one up? I don't. I think this one was an accident. There was a few little tiny cabinet cards. Here is that log cabin again, now with the guy. Well, that one was a dollar, so I paid 50 cents. Here is a cabinet card, and it looks to me like this guy is in a shanty or possibly a, um, what do you call those, sod houses, because the inside is lined with fabric. And a, a lot of times they would do that because then they wouldn't have the exposed dirt walls. And here you have the little stove, and it just, it's kind of interesting. Um, and it does say it was from Billings, Montana. So here is a Lund Shop Oslo, Linden Skog Oslo. I like these old papers that they had. They this is like a spider web texture. This is an Oslo photo. I don't know why it was. It's just a dollar, so I thought why not? Okay, here is the really good one of the bunch. Here is a train wreck. So you have, you can, there's some people here and there's a fence line. So you, um, this has derailed. There's a couple cars here and I don't, I don't know how those, maybe they had crumpled or something, but train wrecks, I don't have any identification on here, but they are desirable. All right. Now we have a couple, these are portraits, I believe. So this one is a soldier. And I think there might have been some of them. There isn't a name on him. But, oh, can I just put that back in? So, but this was Columbus Studio in Montana. So, it narrows it down a little bit. I think they got a couple of those from Columbus. Here is a lady, and she's got a tucked in a man here. It almost reminds me of photo booth photo. So maybe their husband and wife. And this was Tippett Studio in Billings, Montana. Tippet is really, there's nothing there anymore except the Tippet Rise place, which is new. Here is um, another soldier. This was Camp Cook, California. Just gonna, did I look at the back? We don't, we have an unidentified man. This one is from Orton View, Ortonville, Minnesota. And I just thought this is interesting. I don't know, you know, if there was, um, there's, 
and it looks like grandmother and grandson or could be mother son and a couple other family members and this they almost have a um, they have a non Caucasian look to them and I don't know you know what nationality that was it almost looks like they're different like this guy might be Asian she might have some african-american in her she almost looks like she's she might have some different kind of different from the rest so I know it's really I thought was interesting of these different people um, and I there isn't there isn't an identification on them but I just liked it so we've got this lady here class of 1952 of Glendive there are a few of these I maybe go back because they were two, so this is basically cost me a dollar. And some of these I will put in my shop booth because they do sell. I liked this one because look at this folder, it's different. And she just looks interesting. It is, I tried it hard to make that out. Uh, so she cost me like a dollar fifty. And the last one here would cost me a dollar, and it is another man in uniform. So he can see his pins and stuff. I don't know much about these so if you know what those are and what kind of rank he was and or you can help me out to find those that would be great this is also done in columbus i believe it was columbus montana it does have some discolorations in the bottom maybe that could have been glue it feels sticky to me like somebody tried to glue that little corner and again he's not identified but you know i don't know so it was kind of fun so that's what i picked up um in the wild and i thought that was kind of cool so for 25 dollars, this is my lot and i think that um even this one picture might pay for most of it and so that that's kind of a little cool find so i hope you enjoyed this and uh and let me know what you're finding i'm gonna tuck this in so it doesn't get damaged and uh, what did you think? Do you collect photos? And do you have resources for photos? Are you postcards or ephemera? Or, hey, are you just here just to, to be curious about what I'm finding? So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a joyful day. Goodbye.